And here we are. It is now September the 5th. Where are we? September the 5th of 1987. We're going to do a quick camera tape of my video room the way it is before I remodel it a little bit in the fall of 1987. Uh, this is the back, back wall of the video room. Just uh, paneling and then it's just a painted wall at the top. As we can see it. There's an old bookcase with some books, which will also be changed in the future. This will all be changed. A bulletin board, which will, I hope, be changed somewhat. Calendar. That's just a bird's eye view of how it was in early September of 1987. I intend to wallpaper this. And change the way all of this looks. Let's get way back here. That's my two TVs. As you can see, just a plain painted wall. My 11 year old Sony Ed from 1976. And nothing at the top yet. There will be some molding there. So I thought we'd show this the way it was. This is what it was the before. And then a couple weeks or a couple seconds here on tape, we'll see the after. Truly. Not all focus work. Okay, we will fade out and we'll see you with a remodeled room. Bye bye. Well, a few days later, hope you can hear me over the air conditioner, and we have something accomplished now in the video room. We're about halfway home. Here's the wallpaper in all its glory and I'm showing this just to have a record of it before all the molding is put up. So let's zoom in a little bit and see what this looks like. It's just the wallpaper. There's the air conditioner running. Not too sure. I didn't get this date off of here. This took about five hours to do last night on the 9th. September. And the stereo halfway pulled apart as you can see. And there's the entrance. That's the doorway right there. And that's what it looks like with just the wallpaper. It's kind of nice if I do say so myself. I'm kind of proud of it. And of course it ends right here where the Star Trek library starts. So that's it. As of September 10th, we're about halfway home. Now we're going to put up some molding in between and uh, some other stuff, bookshelves, and we'll get the final tape done next. Here we go. A few uh, months later, and the continuing saga of the video room is almost complete. That's right, the uh, walls are almost done. And as you can see, it looks quite a bit different. That's right, we got new lights up here. We have now posters on the ceiling, and we have some paraphernalia here on the walls. We've got some nice shelves up with some uh, junk on them, as you can see. Some books over here. We have some uh, awards and other garbage that I've been collecting over the years. 
college degree and some other stuff. And there we go. That's the wall. Here's the ceiling full of posters, movie posters that I've been collecting over the years. So that's how the walls look now. There's wife. Let's show this wall here. Big difference, big difference. So that's how the video room looks now, as of this date, which I think we didn't flash up there. It's now March 31st, 1988, at 4.24 in the morning. Bring her over here. Star Trek wall I did not wallpaper, just only to kind of set it off from the rest of the uh, rest of the room, as you can see there. So that's really it. A few more things to do, and then we'll show you the completed tape, of the continuing saga of remodeling of the video room. See you next time. You might even move your stinks out. Here we are. That's on the 14th right. of April of 88, Mr. Chris Pearson, and here is what is called an empty video rack. That's right, all my Betamaxes are out of the rack, Same and we're look. about to install the new patch bay. How about that? I'm looking at my star filter. I got a star filter on this camera now, by the way. Oh, okay. Here, tip the patch bay so it kind of faces me, Chris. That's it, thank you. Hey. Yes, this is... Uh, a more or less homemade patch bay. This is going to be like the ultimate patch bay, as it were, uh, built by Mr. Chris Pearson's own hands. This is uh, the audio section here on the right and the video section on the left. And together we're going to hold how many? About 12 or 15 machines on this thing, Chris? 12. 12 machines. That's including VCRs, video accessories, what have you. And for those of you that have never seen this thing empty, it just looks like empty shells because that's what it is, which holds six VCRs. Here is my uh, RF switcher, which is just for RF output only. Won't be using much of it. Yeah, well, there they are. Oh, this is really, this is really a scene. The rack with no machines. How about that? Cables on the floor. Right? Cable. Oh yeah. Look at this. You're right. Thank you. Cables on the floor over here. That will be connected to this mess very shortly. Over here. And over, there. over there and over there. We got some here on the couch, and we're going to walk outside now to the other part of the basement, namely the pool table, and show you all the Betamaxes on that table. Chris, turn on the fluorescent light there, if you would, right yeah. above the uh, turn on the fluorescent light. How do you do that? Right where, where that wire is. Oh, follow the wire. Thank you. Here are most of my Betamaxes on the pool table uh, before they go. They're going to be reinstalled. In the uh, video, <laughs> this looks like our, like our old video cons of days gone by. There's the uh, 1000, there's a 900, this is the old 7200, there's another 900, Jesus, there's a 5800, and a VHS, there's a 2000 in the bag, unbelievable. Here's the equalizer over here. Something else, all my beta machines on the pool table. This is really gross. But uh, we'll again have to give you an after shot and uh, show you what this looks like after it's all done. So we're going to zoom in on the video rack and come back like we usually do for the after shot and zoom out. What's that, Chris? Trying to clean up a little bit. I know. And then we'll zoom out and show you the end result as we uh, kill this damn autofocus and fade to black. We'll see you with the after shot in a second. Actually, three hours later. Well, believe it or not, believe it or not, it's almost a year and a half later. Matter of fact, it is. So I flip this up here. Look at this. It's now November of 1989, and I have not touched this tape for apparently a year and a half. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. But anyway, here is the patch bay, which I guess is what I was showing a year ago completely done and in operation as it has been since April of 88. <laughs> Boy, a lot's changed since then in this video room. And matter of